we'll move on to the next topic. Uh, Mark, yeah, what's that? Marc-Andre Fleury. So yeah, th- go go ahead. So this is a situation as well, right? Like it, it's the hockey world is kind of interesting, right? Um, so the Vegas Golden Knights shocked the world when they traded Mark Andre Fleury to the Chicago Blackhawks for a guy that's I don't even I don't know if he played an NHL game. Like he has no potential to be an NHL player either. Um, oh, it was Mark Andre Fleury for free. It was literally Mark Andre Fleury for free. That that player is irrelevant. Yeah, um, that that's no that's no winner. That's no winner. Mark Andre Fleury. I don't even know his name either. Um, um, I think he's an ECHL guy. Yeah, man. Like he, he's a. This this trade was very shocking to me. Like I, when I, I was at work, when I was listening to this, I mean, or seeing this on Instagram, and um, I was like, I I didn't believe it at first. Right? I was like, okay, this is just a rumor, but then it started going everywhere, and I was like, what the hell is going on? And apparently the situation that Mark andre Fleury found out on Twitter as well. He wasn't informed at all. I mean, yes, he maybe knew that I don't know. he I don't was going to get you... traded. But... I don't know how you uh, do that to a Vesna winning goalie. I mean... Uh, who's been the face of your franchise. Yeah. He's been nothing but enthusiastic uh, since getting there. He could have gone into Vegas with a bad attitude because, you know, he didn't know that the team was going to be successful. Successful, Like... Yeah. Yeah, that guy's been nothing but good for your team and good for your city. He's won big games. He's gotten Vegas deep in the playoffs. Stanley Cup final first year. I mean, like, it's just really cold. Like, I don't understand. And Like, Vegas is just turning into a cold, cold team, man. Like, every offseason, it feels like they lose some of their identity. Every offseason, they just, they, they bring in, a, like, a big name free agent that doesn't make a lot of sense and doesn't make, like, the cap is weird and, they just have no identity, man. They're just obsessed with winning that Stanley Cup, and they're going to do whatever it takes to get it. And even if it means disrespecting, you know, arguably one of their best players. So, well, yeah, man. Like, and like you said, the face of their franchise. That's the that's been their guy since the expansion draft, right? That was their big pick too, right, from Pittsburgh, and they took yeah. them all proud and everything that they got Mark Andre Fleury, and then they go do them dirty like that. I mean, yeah, there was that. Um, situation with alan walsh his for his asian where he tweeted that picture of uh well, that was so stupid flurry getting his uh getting stabbed in the back just because they started they were gonna start leonard and stuff like that but i i from hearing it's um uh, a problem with pete DeBoer. uh DeBoer, yeah that's how you say his name the coach of the, the vegas coach, golden lakes yeah. that he didn't really yeah. think that was their guy he believed that hmm. flurry's not their guy and that's not the guy to win the stanley cup with which kind of is weird, weird because he's proven it because he's won it three times and he just won a Vesna. So um, it's it's Laner then. Like I, I doesn't don't Laner so. like Laner's elite dude, but like like he has his like he's not consistent enough. He's struggled. He's and, struggled. And like who are you gonna go to in the playoffs when Laner has a bad night, dude? Like and Laner when he has a bad night, it's a bad night. Well, guess who they so, replaced him with? Laurent who? Laurent Bersouat. Oh, Brissot off yeah. Uh, Winnipeg. Yeah, uh, I mean he's okay. I mean he's he's service he's serviceable but, serviceable backup. But. Well, now you can say that their goaltending is worse. It's not as like 100% it was. It's worse. That back to back tandem was amazing. I mean, you yes, it was a lot yeah. of cap on there. Maybe they just let go of like a seven million dollar contract, right? It was for the it was for the cap. It was for the it cap. It was definitely I, for the people cap. People were saying they're trying to get Eichel or something. Like, how much cap space does Vegas have now? Yeah, um, probably quite a bit now. Just, cause, but that's the thing. They didn't really do anything. I mean, maybe they are trying to get Eichel. They didn't really do anything in free agency. They didn't. Well, Eichel's still available. He is still available. I mean, that, that'd be an interesting trade. I mean, I found out the guy that they uh, traded for, uh, Mikhail Hak- Hakanarian. I don't even know how to say his name. That's, okay. that's, that's a name. We're not going to worry about that's that guy. Name. Well, apparently, um, Hakarainen. he's going to remain with the Blackhawks in the AHL affiliate. So he's still playing for the AHL for the Blackhawks. Oh, they just don't care. <laughs> they no, just don't they care. don't care, man. He's still in the franchise. Like they just don't care. It says Vegas has zero cap hit. I don't know how like accurate that is. I or zero either. cap space. I don't know either. Uh, uh, but apparently with this with this deal, um, Bill Foley, that's the that's the owner of the team. Yeah. He was not happy about this move. He did not want it to happen. Uh, I wouldn't be either, man. But like I said, I mean they have zero cap space apparently. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe they apparently had to get to exceed. The, the thing is, yes, trade Flurry. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter who they traded him for either. 
But the fact that they didn't let their star player go, I mean, apparently that they they agreed, Flurry agreed with management that he will he wants to retire there, and they they promised him that he will retire as a as a gold knight. But then that obviously was a lie, and they obviously didn't mean that. And yeah, they didn't even inform the guy. That. He found it on Twitter. It was a complete surprise for him, and then he he was That's questioning tough. if he wanted to even play in Vegas or I mean Chicago or retire yeah. or get traded in Pittsburgh. Yeah, that so- was that was the thing, dude. Uh, they were saying that he wasn't sure if he wanted to play. Yeah, and like this was like a, a win win for Chicago, like because you know they either they get Mark Andre Fleury or they can at least say they tried. Well, yeah. Um, but but yeah, he's confirmed he wants to play now, right? He's gonna yeah, play. man. He put on the jersey and everything. He actually looks pretty clean that, in the Blackhawks jersey. That's a good tandem for Chicago, dude. Lankinen and and uh, yeah, Flurry. yeah. People like, are excited about that. I mean, does Chicago have another good. chance at the playoffs now? Like, are they a playoff team? They got might, Seth the, Jones. The Central's really stacked, dude. The Central is yeah. really stacked. I don't know if Flurry at this age is gonna be the tipping point. Um, because they still have to score. Well, well, um, it, it's it's for sure that Jonathan Taze is coming back, and it's for sure that Kirby Doc's back as well. So they get some big names back as well, and and then the system, and then they got a new some new, two new, the Jones brothers is on the on the back end there for the defense yep. core. I mean, I don't yep. know, I don't know. I see them making making it close to the playoffs or at least first round. Yeah, yeah, the, the, they'll be fringe, they'll be fringe. But the, like I said, the Central's just so good. Oh yeah, yeah, it's no. gonna be really tough for them. Yeah, for um, sure. Yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's gonna be interesting with Flurry there. It's gonna be weird seeing Flurry there. It is gonna be very uh, weird. Man. I, I'm happy. I'm happy that he's gonna continue playing because it would have really sucked to to just all of a sudden boom like Flurry's gone because he's one of the most beloved players in the league. Like oh, almost everybody a, loves Marc Andre Flurry, right? Yeah, apparently he's a great so. uh, like teammate as well. Like he's just a locker room oh, yeah. guy. Just a, if just if he nice wasn't guy. a goalie, he would be a captain on a team for sure. 100%. Yeah, he's just and a so great guy. It's going to be nice. Like uh, when a guy like Marc Andre Fleury retires, you want him to announce it like a couple months yep. before the season ends so people like get a chance to say bye. You know? Yep, and he did it on you his don't, own. You terms, don't just want to, right? Yeah. You don't just want, you know, this legend to just disappear because Vegas screws him. Yeah. Like, literally just screws him. No, I, but, I, I agree. Know. I mean, I'm a big fan of Fleury because I, I love Pittsburgh as well. That's my like American team and like. He's been there for all the cups, and he was a big part of that Stanley Cup winning team. Even though that Matt Murray was in the net some of the, most of the time, or some of the time, yeah. but he was a big part of that team. So, oh, absolutely. I. Yeah. He's a it great. Sucks. He's gonna be a great mentor too for that young goal. Lankinen. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna really help Lankinen out. It's yep. gonna be. Uh, it puts Chicago back into the conversation. For sure, back man. Into the conversation. For sure. So we'll see with that. 